Okay, so we have our welcome screen right now where a user types in their name and clicks enter chat. Now we need to figure out a way whereby we grab this name when they click this button and we push it into the next component, the chat component, so that the chat component knows what the name is. So essentially what we'll be doing is passing in this name property into the chat component as a prop when we click this button and redirect them. So we need to figure that out. But first of all, let's create the basics of this chat component. So in the code, let's create a new component by right clicking over here, go to new file and call this chat.view. Okay, so first of all, we need a template. And this template will be pretty simple to begin with, a div with a class of chat and also a class of container. Okay, now inside that we'll do an H2 and this will just say chat for now. Now we'll flesh out this template later, but for now let's just do the script tag first of all. And inside here we'll have our object. The name is going to be chat and this needs to be a colon, not an at symbol. Okay, and we also want to do our data function which returns an empty object. We'll fill this in later. Okay, finally, let's do our style tag, just in case we need to add any styles later. Okay, so we have the basic component here for the chat window. Now I'd like to hook this up to our router so that if we go to forward slash chat, we get this component right here. So inside index.js, inside the router file, first of all, we'll import that new component. So import chat from, and it's at forward slash components forward slash chat. Okay, now let's create our route object for this component. So a new object right here. The path is going to be forward slash chat and the name of this route is going to be chat. And finally, the component we'll use is chat. So now when a user goes to forward slash chat, it should load up this component right here. So let's save this and give it a whirl. Over here, we'll go to forward slash chat and we see that component. Cool. So this works. Okay, so now we have this component set up. What we'd like to do is when a user clicks on enter chat, we take the name that they type in here and we pass it through into this chat component right here and redirect them to this component. So first of all, what we'll do is go into this component and we'll check that they first of all have in fact entered a name because we don't want to redirect them to the chat component if they've not entered a name yet. So to do that inside this enter chat function, we'll delete console.log and we'll say if this.name. So if this.name is null, then we're not actually going to do this. We'll do something else. And the else will be to offer them some feedback. Now, first of all, we'll need to create a feedback property over here, which will be null to begin with. But if they try to click the button right here, enter chat without inputting the name, the else statement will run and we'll offer some feedback. So we'll say this dot feedback is going to be now equal to you must enter a name to join. Okay, now we want to output that feedback if they try to click this button without entering a name. So we'll do that just above the button. So we'll do a P tag. Now this will only output if feedback is true. Now currently it's null, which means it's false. So we'll say v if on the p tag and we'll set it equal to feedback so for as long as this is null then we won't offer that feedback if it's not null then we will offer this feedback so we'll output it right here like so now we also want to give this a class of red text to make it red and stand out all right so first of all let's try this out if i now try to enter the chat without entering a name it's just going to feed me back this information right here okay then so now if they do enter a name then we want to fire this bit right here and what we'd like to do is first of all redirect them to the chat component so let's do that first of all we'll say this dot router with a dollar sign before it remember this is how we access the router object to redirect users and then we redirect them by saying we want to push onto the router so this takes an object as a parameter, this method, and we can pass through some options into this object. Now, one of those options is the name, and that is the name of the component we want to redirect them to. Now, we called the name of the chat component right here, chat. So, let's grab that and paste it in right here. 
Okay, so we're redirecting them to the chat component now. Now let's see if this works. I'll just enter in any old name, Mario, and enter chat. And we forward them now to the chat room, but we still don't have access to that Mario name. So we now need to figure out how to pass through that name, Mario, as a prop into this thing right here. And there's a couple of steps to doing that. First of all, we need to go into our router file over here and inside this route object, we need to tell it that we want to accept props as parameters when we redirect them into this route. So the way we do that is by simply adding on a new property here called props and we'll set that to true. So now when we enter this route right here, it's expecting to have props passed to the new component. Okay, now the prop we want to pass is the name. So first of all, we need to go into our chat component because when we pass props into a component, remember, we need to also accept them into components. And to do that, we need to add on a props property right here inside this component. So the props that we want to accept are the name props or rather the name prop. So now we've said to the router, look, we want to pass a prop through to this component when we redirect them or go to this route. And we also inside the component are now accepting a prop called name. So the last thing for us to do is actually pass this prop into this component when we redirect them. Now that is pretty simple to do. We'll go to our welcome screen over here where we redirect them. And after this name property, we wanna add another option. Now, surprisingly, this is not props as you might think it would be, but in fact, we use the params option right here. Now we've seen this before when we're passing through a route parameter, right? Now we use the same option when we're passing through a prop as well. It's just that now we've done a bit of extra configuration. We've said that we're passing through props and we're accepting that prop because this time, we're not passing through the parameter in the actual route. It's not gonna be forward slash chat, forward slash the name of the person. We're just passing it through as a prop, which is not gonna be seen inside the URL. So the prop that we want to send is gonna be called name because that's what we're expecting to accept right here, the name. And we'll set this equal to this name right here. So we can access that by saying this dot name. So we're redirecting them now to the chat component and we're passing through a parameter, which is actually passing a prop. And we've said that we want to accept that prop in here. Now this name right here, name, and this thing over here, they must be the same thing because we're passing one thing and accepting one thing, right? They must equal the same thing. So let's save that now and view it in a browser and see if this works. We'll go back to the welcome screen and say Mario. And in fact, we can only find out if it works if we actually do something with that prop inside here. So why not? Let's just output it this dot name because remember when we accept props and we get data like this inside a component, we have access to them now by just saying this dot name much like we would have access to any data down here on this object. So let's output this and Mario will be our name. Enter chat and now we can see chat Mario. Let's try a different one. Luigi, enter chat, chat Luigi, awesome. And notice it's not that parameter up here. It's not forward slash chat, forward slash Luigi right here. It's just forward slash chat. And we're grabbing that name as a prop. 